Right, this morning I'm just getting the gear ready for a long weekend of street event style photography down in Wellington, the stunning capital of New Zealand. We've got New Zealand's largest outdoor event going on this weekend and that is Cuba Duper, which is uh, it's, it's a massive music, arts, performance event that runs the whole length of Cuba Street in Wellington and uh, adjoining side streets. Man, I'm so looking forward to it. I think the photography is going to be quite stunning. They're expecting crowds up to 100,000 down there and it should be pretty easy pickings really for the old uh, street photographers. I'm meeting up with a few other street photographers down there. Should be a fun weekend really. We're going to take the Leica Q2 obviously as a primary camera. We're going to take a spare battery as well because you know it's going to be a long shift. Then I'm going to take the Fujifilm X-Pro2 with its newly modified 850 nanometer infrared sensor that is hopefully going to make some nice photographs and a little bit of nice video footage as well all dependent obviously on the uh, the sunlight at the moment we've got them on uh, but hopefully that will come as the day progresses i will take a spare battery for the x pro 2 and i'll take a spare battery with me for the uh, for the gopro 9 uh, which i'm recording on right now so uh, other than that we've got camera camera battery 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 let's hit cuba duper <laughs> So how good was that? What a weekend. Just wall-to-wall -wall people, cameras everywhere, photographers out there doing their thing. 
not a hint of trouble it was just a great great experience loved it if you're anywhere in new zealand get yourself down there next year it's well worth making the effort to go there fantastically organized event anyway that's not important what's important is the photography okay what's more important is the photography did i make any decent photographs well yes and no i'll flash them through on screen now you'll see the also runs the ones that i shot but didn't really make the mark in my humble opinion i'm always these days looking out for moments be it gestures or interactions ironies anything apart from people just walking down the street or randomly stood on the street there's got to be something more to elevate the photograph i've tried to work hard on developing that that's not to say that photographing just random people doing random things is of no importance whatsoever it's a good exercise especially when you first start out shooting street photography it's a great exercise to just get out there build your confidence up and just just photograph strangers be they doing something extraordinary or just doing something mundane the important thing is to get some shooting time under your belt and build up that confidence almost every time i go out to do a street photography shoot i start out with this low-key approach turn up you're a bit timid about getting the camera out and putting it in people's faces so you stand back a little bit get the camera out uh, maybe a couple of hip shots to get you started then you get a bit more confident lifting the camera to your eye Keep pointing the camera in the same direction as your chosen subject walks past you that way they think you're photographing something behind them it kind of works but then you get a bit more confident especially on events you know for, for budding street photographers get out and shoot a local event because everybody's got a camera everybody's out there to be seen really you know they're dressed up to the nines get out and shoot them with a camera important that bit with a camera not with anything else because that's kind of frowned upon these days once i build the confidence up a little bit then i'm kind of stood in the middle of people and just just loving it flashing the camera about and it's fantastic so at the end of this i'm going to go through i think there's about maybe 10 or 15 maybe shots maybe 20 i've not actually collated them yet but i'll go through the photographs that did make the grade in my humble opinion and i'll talk you through why i've took I'll talk to you why I believe these photographs have worked and uh, what I could have done better, how I took the photograph, what my approach was on that particular photograph. Stop rambling, let's get on to the, the winners, the ones that I consider winners. Before we get on to the actual winners, I'd just like to show you a few more that I initially thought I'd nailed. But unfortunately, when I've had a close look at them, for a few little reasons, decided not to call these winners. It's a hard choice, actually, because I shot so many photographs and I'm looking back through them and, man, there's, there's so many potential good photographs there uh, and if not today then sometime down the future there could be pretty good photographs let's get into them have a look this one <laughs> i'd photographed this fella quite a few times throughout the day he was one of the performers and he's strutting along the street doing his dance and doing his doing his snorkel thing and then later on he got changed into other outfits and he was he was quite out there and I, I got a couple of photographs but i thought you know he's a performer they are easy targets really get a few record shots of the day but we'll just move on and, and, and look for people interactions i saw this police officer make his way over to the guy with the flippers and if you look he's got one flipper missing it's uh, it's tucked under his wing there uh, i don't know why i don't know what the conversation was about i've got no idea whatsoever i took a few different angles of this scene but i wanted to make it quite busy so uh, i waited until we got a nice grouping of people walking past me and it just opened up just a little bit just enough for me to get the uh, the main subject the main target in the center of the frame there i love this shot i think it's got a little bit of humor it's got so many layers plenty going on but there's nothing too distracting in there with some separation around him so nobody's sort of encroaching on his space and i, I do like that photograph potentially possibly one of my favorite photographs of the weekend now one thing I've got to say is in street photography in photography in general you've got something called the the Fibonacci sequence whereby you lay a frame over your photograph and then you put these sort of Fibonacci spirals all around your photograph and if the part of the spiral touches part of the intersection of the lines blah 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 mate honestly I'm a photographer <laughs> I'm certainly not a mathematician or a geometrist I, I just don't get it I don't get it I watched a few videos explaining it and to be honest with you oh, mate I don't know I, it just doesn't work for me personally so any proper street photographers out there they will look at my photo graphs and say mate that doesn't match the Fibonacci sequence that's fine that's okay each to their own I'll just go with what I think looks good hopefully I come with a couple of nice photographs that maybe fluke the Fibonacci sequence somewhere along the lines anyway this photograph I'm walking towards these guys I saw them stood on a, a planter or something and they were just kind of raised up there looking at something down the street but I wanted to make sure this photograph was busy I wanted some layers I didn't I didn't want it clean just them two in the frame so I waited until we got people walking towards and people walking through and just everybody's ignoring what's going on 
apart from those two people there they've got quite intense looks on the face and they're definitely wanting to see what's going on further down the street definitely both characters and i just love that photograph now a lot of the shops down the street they got all bands and djs playing in the shops and as i'm walking past this one particular retail shop i kind of saw people milling about outside looking through the racks of clothes but i could hear some noise going on inside and lights flashing and and all sorts going on some commotion so i thought i'll check that out so i walked in i gets to the doorway looked inside the shop it was only quite a small compact shop and there must have been about 50 or 60 people there absolutely going off and uh, so i'm popping off shots there i'd got the camera above my head shooting blind and all of a sudden this lady pulled a look i think she was looking towards some mates that were coming into the shop behind me and i've got a quite nicely framed round other people energy i love it love 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 it this lady spotted her walking down the street out of the shade she's walking along towards me and i thought she, she stands out quite well she's got great hair and those sunglasses funky sort of sunglasses and as she came walking towards me she started doing a bit of an impromptu dance close to me so as she span round I thought, right, get a couple of shots, and I popped off, I think, three shots. Two of them didn't work. This one, where I've got a fist up there, and my, uh, she's not looking at me at all, and I just love this photograph. It reminds me of something that I've seen a long time ago. I don't know where, I don't know what it is, but there's something about this photograph that makes me think, I've seen this somewhere before, and, and I just, I don't know, it's, got, it's ringing bells with me somewhere, but I just love it. I just absolutely love this photograph. Again, it's got some energy, it's got some, some emotion, you know, it makes you, makes you ask questions, what's going on? I've told you what's going on, she was having a dance. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean, if you didn't know that, you'd be thinking, what the hell's going on there? Is she coming to give me a smack? Now, the fellow on the right here, this is, this is James, founder of the New Zealand Street Photographer's Facebook page. He'll shoot street all day, but what he looks for as well, he looks for a character, somebody that can make a nice, solid portrait from. So he spent quite a long time looking through the crowd, and there were thousands of people there. And all of a sudden, he came walking out of the crowd with this lady, and he's walking away with it. And I thought, that's his, that's his subject. So I got a couple of shots of him walking with her. He led her to this concrete wall. He got a silver reflector out, got her to hold it, and just to put some light back into her face. So I took a few photographs, and I worked my way around a little bit more, and the light on this lady is absolutely superb. I absolutely love it. Then James just lifted his hand to say, hold it, that's the photograph, hold it there, don't move a thing there. Just as he raised his arm, I took that shot, and that one for me works. It's got a gesture, it's got great light, it's got a superb character in there. I mean, look at her, she looks absolutely stunning. Nice work, James. Sorry for stealing your photograph. This group of people are dancing, they're having a real, real great time. That's going to make a nice shot. So I popped off two or three shots as she spun round towards me. I love the smile on the lad's face. I love the look on her face. I love the gestures of her arms. I love the fact that she's got sunglasses on as well because that contrasts nicely with the hair. And because that part of the building above her head is in shade, she stands out, she absolutely pops out. And I just, I think this one works really, really well. I saw these two ladies here. The lady on the right hand side, she's having a good old dance, spinning around, doing her thing. And every time she sort of span around, she flashed the camera a look. And I thought, okay, I'm, you know, I'd sooner you not look at the camera, just you know, do your thing. I'm just a fly on the wall recording what's going on. When I got back to the computer, put them on the computer, and I'm looking through them, and I thought, you know what, that smile, those eyes deserve a photograph. It's just a good, solid, full of energy, full of life, full of joy. I just, I just love the photograph. Walking down the street, and I saw these two ladies pretty animated. As I'm walking towards them, I made a beeline to get a little bit closer to them. I raised the camera above my head and just popped off one frame as I walked past them. And I never gave it any more thought. I just carried on about my day until a couple of days later when I put the photographs onto the computer and I started working through them. This one, literally, it, it jumped out at me. I thought, man, I've, I've caught something there. Definite gestures, definite emotion. There's some intrigue and some mystery. I, I don't know. And what makes it even better is because obviously the light levels are dropping. I bumped up the ISO, opened up the aperture, which has thrown the background more out of focus. These two ladies just pop out of the frame. A couple of people in the background looking towards this scene. So whatever it was, you know, other people had seen it or heard it or whatever it was. And they're there playing a part in the photograph. They're not a distracting part of the photograph. I like to think that I've taken quite a few nice shots, but this, this one, there's something about it. And I just love it. Just absolutely love it. I wish I was more floral with my language. Uh, I could explain this a lot more. And those guys are my favourite photographs on the weekend. I think if I'm being totally honest, brutally honest, if I've got to pick one photograph that totally wins the day, it's that one there. Oh, mate, honestly, something about it. I just love it. I just keep going back to this photograph and thinking, I've caught something there. No idea what I've caught, but I've caught something. And uh, that's what street photography is all about. It's about catching something that happens 
in a split second and if you catch it you've caught it forever you've frozen something in time uh, and i think i've done that here in the next episode we're going to look at the infrared i've looked at one photograph that i took i posted it online one particular guy covered in tattoos and it, oh mate he stands out like uh, the proverbial Just think to me.